Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Patience. To my existing subscribers, welcome back. If this is your first time here, be sure to click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can continue to indulge in the Hot Bella experience. In today's video, I am going to be revisiting the Starry Eyes to Hypnotize palette from Charlotte Tilbury. This is what this palette looks like. You guys have seen me use this palette before. In the previous video, I primarily focused on these two trios right here in this palette. This trio is called Happy Glow and this trio is called Love Glow. But I got a comment on that video saying that there was some interest in seeing a look using some of the trios from this end of this palette. So that's what I'm doing today. In today's eye look, I primarily focused on the Dream Glow Trio and the Seduce Glow Trio in the Charlotte Tilbury Starry Eyes to Hypnotize palette. So yeah, this is a gorgeous palette and this look turned out absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So if you would like to see how I created this look, then keep watching. I am going to use this shade right here and I'm going to use this as my brow bone highlight. I am going to use this shade right here and I'm going to use this as my transition shade. I'm going to now use the deepest shade in this palette and I am going to use this on the outer V and sweep it into the crease. I have carved out my lid. I did my little half cut crease situation like I always do. And I'm now going to soften up the edges just a little bit more. And I'm going to use my fluffy brush and I'm just going to soften this up just a little bit. I don't want to lose the depth that's in this look though. I still want this outer V to be quite dark. So I'm going to tap back into this deepest shade in this palette as I need to because I don't want to lose this. I'm now going to use this shade right here and I'm going to start with the inner corner of my eye and start to work this shade out towards the darkest shade that I've already got on the outer part of my lid. Starting off using this shade dry. I'm now going to use this shade right here and I'm going to use this shade right in the middle here. I want to marry these two colors together that I already have on my lid. I'm using a little bit smaller and denser blending brush to do this. I hope that this is the right move to make and that I don't have to go to my 242. But if I do, I have my 242 on standby just in case. But yeah, we're going to try to marry these two shades together. I really like this shade it's like a it's hard to describe it it's like a steel silver silver blue almost it's really pretty
So far so good, but I think I want to blend out these edges just a little bit more. I want to keep the depth, but I just want to blend them out a little bit more. So I'm going back to my MAC 242 brush and I am going to go back into the deepest shade in this palette and I'm going to do a little bit more horizontal type blending right on that outer V. because I really want this to be a gradient type look. Yeah. Very nice. I'm using my small blending brush from Sigma and I'm going to go back into the darkest shade in this palette once again and I'm going to add a little bit more definition in the areas where I have had to manipulate my natural crease line. I'm going to add my liner and my lashes and I'll be right back. It is now time to smoke out my waterline and I am going to use this darker shade right here. I'm going to use this towards the outer part of my eye and then I think I'm going to go back into this shade right here. This is the shade that I use as my transition shade. So I think I'm going to add a little bit of this into that waterline as well just so that it's not too too dark. even though that's very pretty being dark. I might not need to add that other shade in. I'm liking the way this is looking just by itself. A nice smoked out waterline. Not too much, just enough. And for my inner corner, I am going to go back into the shade right here. This is the shade that I used as my brow bone highlight. So I'm going to tap into that again and I am just going to bring a little bit more lightness into this area right in here. It is now time for lips. I am going to use this lip gloss from Fenty Beauty. This came in their Glossy Posse kit that came out during last holiday season. So I have never used this, but I figured that since my eyes are quite bold, that I will go with this lip gloss. I wanna see what this looks like. I think it's gonna tie in really well with the eyes, but let's try it and find out. And this look is done. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.